What's up guys, it's Zed and this is part 2 of season 7 of the ZM Creators Creative Club career mode. Last episode, we got Karima DME meeting Mount, um, Idrissa Kofi, which is the Fulibali region, apparently, and then Jamie Bino Gittins. He's going to be the kind of like a replacement, or no replacement, like a substitution for both wings. So he could come in for German sometimes and some other times he could come in for folding or resale or something like that. We had a really good start to the season last episode. I mean, we won all of the preseason matches. We won that competition. And then we also won all of the matches in the league from Getafe to Real Madrid to Real Balicano. So the first match we're going to be playing is most likely going to be... Um, the one against Dortmund in the Champions League. Did we win? No, we did not win the Champions League, Champions League last season or the league. So I guess I mean we're still aiming for that treble. So I'm really hoping this is the season where I will be able to to do that. And that is not going to happen if we keep drawing all of our, all of our fucking matches and if we do not win a lot of our matches. So let's just hope that we do. Because if we don't, that's just going to be sad. So that's a three 0 win to Atletico Bilbao, and now we have. The match against Borussia Dortmund. So I want Tommy also to start this match ahead of Stewart, and I guess um, I would want to give this guy his debut. So I think I think I will just play him instead of you know what I won't give him his debut right now. Yeah, let's not do that right now. But I want to play Rise ahead of Foden first, and then I guess I guess we are good. Yeah, we are good. So I don't really need to make any any more changes. So let's see what exactly this team is going to be able to do against Dortmund. We are at the Camp de Coheters and we are ready to dominate Dortmund. Hopefully we do though. Hopefully I haven't just jinxed myself. But let's see. Oh, well, let's see what exactly is going to happen. We all right, we get the first attack in the fourth minutes, and I really I really do not like this kind of attacks. But let's see what we can do. Nothing is probably going to come out of this though but oh my god I fucked up I should, I should have passed immediately with Haaland but we have a better opportunity here with with um Fonseca getting a solo run and I mean normally he's able to score this so oh my god he actually did not score it he did not score it what the hell how the hell is it what? He normally he normally scores those though. Right, this wasn't able to get that in time. Oh my god. Alright, thank god he did not make that pass. I'm so happy he did not make that pass. Alright, we're in the second half and we still haven't gotten a goal. I feel like we still might, we still will. Ah, crap, they just tore my defense open. Yeah, thank you, Vardio. Let's throw that away. And now we have an attack in the 68th minute. Right, I have I have no idea what the hell happened there. That is, that is complete bullshit. That is complete bullshit. What just happened right there? Well, they didn't give me a chance to do anything there. This is bad. This is alright. Alright, that's good. Okay, so I think this might just be our last chance. So let's try and make it count. I was <laughs> talking about dominating them before and well guess that's not that's not bound to happen really not bound to happen all right okay we still have one more chance one more chance and Fonseca looks like he wants to be the hero once again please Fonseca Bro, <laughs> what the fuck? What the actual fuck? That's, that, that shit is not supposed to happen, man. We're supposed to win this match fair and square. Alright, whatever. We did not win it. Nothing we can do about it. 
So let's move on to the next match that I would be interested in playing. Which I do not know about yet, but let us... What do we have here? Very tough I withdrawn. I mean, I was never going to sell him in the first place. Hey, Gaffa, thanks for listening. Keep your feet on the ground, bro. Um, hey, boss. I know people have been talking about my... Yeah, you'll do for me, whatever. That's that's good. I mean, you're most likely not going to play as much matches as... As, uh, what's his face? Uh, Stewart. Next match, we have Villarreal. I'm not going to play this one. I'm going to do a simulation. I'm going to simulate it. We win against Sevilla 2-1. So we actually, we're actually we actually doing relatively well in the in the um, league. We haven't lost a match yet, but whenever I say this, that's when we actually do go ahead and lose a fucking match. So, um, Karim Adeyemi for... Yeah, let, let, let Haaland rest a little bit, and I think that will be it. I haven't played Mount yet. I completely forgot about Mount in the, in, the, in the previous match. But let's see what we do here. We win it 2-0. And Bino Gittins gets his very first goal for the club. I mean, the very first goal I'm seeing, by the way. I'm not sure if that is his first goal. I actually forgot to give them development schedules. So I guess I will be giving um, this guy the poacher. I think, I think he would thrive better with that. And then Mason Mount, you, you have peaked. So there's no reason for me to do that. So Bino Gittins, you're in good form. So I guess you're, you're a left midfielder. So I think oh, his finishing is actually really good. He's fast. So I think wide playmaker is what he needs right now. That just that would just balance his stats out a little bit. So is there any is there any person I got? Yeah, I got um Idrissa Kofi. So obviously I'll be doing the the sweeper for now. I, I will do that for now, and that's pretty much it. Alright, next match I'm interested in is the one against Rubens. I'm not going to play that one either. I'm going to do a simulation for it and I'm going to hope that we just win a lot of these matches and try and get ourselves in a very good position for next episode in order to just cruise, cruise to victory. That's a 4-1 win against Rangers, a 3-0 win against Ibar and then we win against Almeria as well. as well. We are on a fucking roll. We are undefeated in all competitions and I really hope that that does not end in this match against Real Betis. I'm, I'm really hoping that's the case because I mean that jinx shit is so fucking real. So what do we have? Kofi de development schedule. Wait what? He has reached the technical levels we expect of him. How the hell did that happen so fast? Oh my god this guy has... <coughs> what the fuck? That's his potential. I, I, I swear to god I wish there was a way to see, to see their potential. That's just... I have been fucking ripped off. By FIFA, I have been fucking ripped up by FIFA. I can't believe a. <sighs> uh, that's that's shit. Calvin James picked up a match ban. Hopefully, that wasn't the previous match. Um, match against Real Betis. This one might be tough. Who am I? Who am I bringing into the match? I think I think I would give um this Idrissa Kofi guy his his match. Then Mason Mount, you haven't played. At all, and then I will give Kallenberg as well. He hasn't played as well, so I think I think I'm good with this. It's actually it's actually really really crazy when you have this kind of a squad that is fucking deep. And uh, well, we do win it. Fonteca gets the goal to give us the win. Anyway, I was saying that it's really really cool when you have such a squad and you don't really have a problem with positions. You just have to rotate everybody fairly and all that. So. It's really interesting seeing that. So I'm simming all the way to the 31st for the um, return fixture for the Olympic Lyon match. We win 3-2 um, against them the first in the first fixture. Then we win 2-1 against Real Sociedad. Then the match against Celta Vigo. I'm really hoping that we do win it. Yes, we do 4-1. The team is absolutely fucking flying. Like, they are flying. So 3-2 to that team. I think that is Real Zaragoza. I'm not sure if that's them. Or not, but I think that might just be them. So, 3 0. Sorry, three messages. None of them are important. German has peaked. And before I go into this match against Olympic Lyon, let me just look at the at the table real quick. Not the not the table, the La Liga table. We are first undefeated. We are, we are on a win streak at that in the in the La Liga. So um 36 points, we are 5 points ahead of Real Madrid. Real Madrid are, are doing really well. Atletico Madrid, sorry, Barcelona is next and, and, and Atletico Madrid is fourth. That's how it should be, but I'm, I doubt that's how it will be at the end of the season. So let's hope 
for the best in this match against Olympic Leon so we can keep our undefeated streak going. Where, where am I going? Okay, yes. Um, I think I think the dark car one will be okay. So I'm not making any changes. Yes, obviously Haaland is not particular. No, I'm 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 just leaving there for now. I'm going to play Kallenberg and Vardio is not looking. No, let me just leave him there. And I think I think I'll play reset over Foden. So let's see exactly how this would work out for us. Hopefully it does work out really well. We have we have not won a match we have played. Like you know, I mean it's only the playable highlights we have done so far. So um, I'm really hoping to win the next this match because I mean we need morale going into into the Champions League. We've won all of the all of the other matches apart from that Dortmund one. So. I mean, our team is absolutely fucking flying. And, I mean, I mean, this just proves that I, I mean, the signings I made were kind of good. We're kind of okay. We're kind of um, what's the word? What I exactly what I needed in order to dominate the 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 football calendar. So let's jump straight into the match and hope for the best. We start with a corner. Pedri is on it, and well. I think I will just go for Haaland here. I, I I just fucked up. I made it too high. And yeah, the, the 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 guy didn't even like try to attack the ball. He just like ran away from it there. So solo run for them. This might be good. This might be bad. And it's proving to be really fucking bad right now. And Vandre is just what I need to save my ass and they have yet another counter attack this is not fucking good if, if if they unleash that guy i really do not know please tell me tell me Bardo got this yeah he does as usual so our next our next form of play is a fucking a fucking free kick we have no open play opportunities at all for some reason so Halan, you got this. You did get it, but the keeper was just able to. Come on, what the hell is going on? Can we like have open play? All right, just calm down. Do what you're supposed to do. To Halan, to Pedri, to someone. All right, finally we have we have open play, and Fonseca is the best option right now. Hopefully, please. Give it to Forteca and you are not supposed to miss this. Come on. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first goal we are scoring from open play. That's the first goal we are scoring in this series entirely from, you know, the matches that we do play. And I, th I think that's, that's pretty cool. We have one more opportunity for a corner. And this, this thing hasn't worked in a while. But, I mean, you guys already know that it works so freaking well. So, I'm not going to give up on it anytime soon. Well, it didn't work out that time and it, yeah it didn't work out all in all so please i need to i really need to to protect all right let's just try and block his his all of his passing options that's good that's not good anymore please please come on thank you thank you so much guys and all right. I mean, this game obviously wants them to win this match so much. Cause I really don't know why the why the freak Olympic freaking Leon has way more attacking options than than us. I mean, I have no idea who's in their team right now, but we have won the match. That's all that matters. One nil, and we have booked a place in the quarter. Sorry, in the in the round of sixteen in the in the Champions League. And the next match we're going to play is possibly okay. It's not the last match. The next two match, the next match I was play if we win that, we are definitely going to be finishing this group on the at the top. So that is our mini goal for now, even though it's really not that important because we've already qualified. So I just want to finish on top because I mean it feels good to win every single fucking match that you play. It feels really good to do that. So the match against uh, Dortmund is next. I'm going to play that as well. They they are away from home. I don't know if I, if I want to play the full match or if I want to play the uh, playable highlights, but I'm not, I'm only going to play one full match this this uh, 
episode because of time and all. I woke up really late and I have to finish the episode before uh, um, I get on with the rest of my day. So let's, uh, let's go Madrid. The Real Madrid match is nowhere to be seen. I, oh yeah, we already played that. That's stressful about that. So I think I think I would play. I mean, when I get to the uh, 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 let's go Madrid match, I will then choose which match I would want to play, whether it's uh, the Let's Go Madrid match or the Barcelona match. So, I'm going to play this one for now. And, alright, so we're going to be wearing this kit for the first time. This is the away kit, not the alternate. I don't think we have worn the alternate yet. That sucks. So, Foden, um, let's give Mason Mounts a chance. And uh, I think I am good. Yep, I'm good. So this basically, I mean, it's the main team I use all the time. I just make a tiny few changes here and there to make sure that the the like the, the squad is well rotated and stuff. But I'm, I'm also sure that in the simulations, the squad is also well rotated ish. I guess I hope that's the case. I think I think it should be rotated, not well rotated, though, but like it's rotated. All right, we are the Signal Iduna Park, a very a really iconic stadium, and we are here to defeat Dortmund. We in our in our own stadium, they were able to hold us, and let's hope that we are able to do worse than what they did in in the in our own stadium. So Fonseca is looking like he has a really good opportunity here. And a really good opportunity it is. So come on, don't fuck me up. Yes, thank you. That is the first goal in the ninth minute for for Nuno Fonseca. This guy is absolutely on fire. And I'm pretty sure he's going to win the Ballon d'Or this year as well. I have to look out for that. And hopefully, I, I, I do not forget it. So we have another another chance in the 17th minute. Or 16th minute because we're in 16.05. But I am going to blast this into the top of the fucking net. And nothing man can do about that nothing at all so that is two goals in less than in less than um 20 minutes and that is that's is crazy so next up we have another counter attack and i think i'll give this to fonteca oh that was a very shit pass that was a very shit fucking pass okay we have pedri i want to go for far post here so i'm going to try and curve this as much as possible have no idea how the hell to go about this. I probably. Oh, that is sick. I cannot believe he actually got that. I can't believe he actually fucking got that. That was insane. That was insane. So there yeah, we have yet another free game. We are absolutely demolishing these guys. I didn't know that when I said I was going to demolish them, it was going to be in their own stadium. No mind. All right. So Pedri, is this Pedri or Virch? This should be. Yeah, this is Florian. Oh, this is Foden. Sorry about any of them. Alright, so let's see. Far post. I'm trying to make it to the far post as best as possible. Haaland got this again, and yeah, it goes straight. I mean, not straight to the keeper, but you know. Alright, so this might possibly be the end of the, the, the last scenario of the match, and let's just try and defend this as best as possible. Thank you, Fonteca. Oh, it goes straight to the to their player. Clean sheets, yes, clean sheets against Dortmund in the Signal Iduna Park. That is insane. That is good for us. And well, we are we are top spots in the league. There's no way any of them is going to pass us right now. And oh, how long they actually played against his old team and I made him celebrate? <laughs> All right, that's that's bad. Actually, actually, actually forgot about that. But oh well, we have Valencia next, and I'm going to be making what changes exactly. All right, let's give Tomiyasu a chance. But then that will mean Helvig is not sorry, Stewart is not going to play this match. And then I also want Mason Mount's actually kinda of low on health, so I guess Kallenberg is going to be the one to play here. And being no gittins, you hmm, no, let's just keep that for now. And uh simulate match. Let's hope that we do get the win. We are still undefeated. Well our win streak in the Premier in the in La Liga is gone, but we are still undefeated. Um German um, gets the first goal, Fonseca missed a fucking penalty, that's just great. And then Pedri gets the, the second goal for our team and then they just came to um, demolish us in the second half and well, we drew the match. Thank God it's not a loss, we're still undefeated, that's what... I mean, it's not really a, it's not really a, um, 
priority for me to be, to remain undefeated for the rest of the season. But if we actually do remain undefeated for the entirety of this episode, that's going to be insane. And I really hope that we are able to do that. Barcelona is also undefeated as well. It will be nice to play them. But the thing is that I want to play Atletico Madrid because I haven't used my alternate kit yet. So I'm going to play this match against Atletico Madrid and, and I'm going to um, uh, do the playable highlights for the for the Barcelona match. So let's just simulate, sorry, let's just move on to the next match. Plenty of football, just what James needs. All right, so I'm guessing he's doing really, really well. All right, so I am going to be using our, our alternate kit here. It looks absolutely dapper on German right now to be honest and I, I, I I'm absolutely for that so let's see what exactly I want to do here um, I think I think I want to go all out no let, let me see no um, I'm so lost right now I do not know who to put but I think I think I'm going to give Kallenberg a chance here why am I saying I'm going to give him a chance I'm going to Give him some playtime. Okay, here. What am I saying? What am I fucking saying? I want to give him a chance. Okay. I think. I think. I think we're good with that. So I mean, let's hope that we do win the match. Anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this video so far, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Comment on what you think about the series and um, let's jump straight into the match. So what it is that we have at stake right now is is the fact that we are undefeated in the La Liga. That is one hell of it, a an achievement that I have that I have not sorry undefeated in all competitions. That's one hell of an achievement that I have not reached ever. Like ever. <laughs> I mean maybe like in the in my in my former days of playing FIFA but like ever since I started YouTube videos I have not done that ever before. So I mean I really hope that that is going to be the case. If we I mean this might just be the toughest match. Oh no the Barcelona match is going to be the toughest match but let's I mean we have a a what's it called a thing against Atletico Madrid, and we're always defeating them by large amount and all that. And um, I really hope that they do not spoil our, our defeated streak right now because I mean it's really fucking important that we do not lose it. So let's jump straight into the match here and let's see how we're going to go about winning this match. All right, that was close. That's not who I passed to, but okay. Alright, nice to to keep possession and well that was that was fucking ambitious. I guess that was probably not the best move. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, that was a What a fucking screamer. What the hell was that goal? What the actual fuck was that goal man? I mean, I wish it wasn't this 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 replay thing they're giving me right now, but that was crazy. Near post at that, the keeper was there, just wasn't able to catch that. It was straight down his fucking throat. It was straight down his fucking throat. And he couldn't do anything about it. That is that is the beauty of fucking Holland, guys. That is the beauty of fucking Holland. And why the hell would you head that straight to an opposite? Oh my god, oh my god, that was just so unlucky. That is just so fucking unlucky. What the hell was the defense doing there? What the actual fuck was the defense doing there? Come on. I mean, Gvardio left, left Goretzka completely free. I mean, I wanted him to go and, to go and uh, stop that from happening. <laughs> Alright, I guess that was just not the best option let's try again nice and oh my god that's the second time he's hitting the bar in this episode how unlucky can i be right now first that's that move from the opposition sorry first the goal from the position and now all right to folding that's brilliant and he's not able to get past them. Don't I don't know what the fuck he was doing. But okay. Good interception from Alright to Haaland. That is brilliant. And please thank you. Alright, that's a brace for him. And we are back in front here. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Alright. That was really good play from, from the team. I don't know how we started, but I just knew it was it was I mean, were well, they really good? It was really good to left Fonseca lead the defenders away from Haaland there. 
and that was just a really good finish. I mean, he blasted it into the fucking into the fucking post there. Nothing, nothing the keeper could have done. All right, I see. Oh my god, I guess I guess I could I should have just I should have just hit it. I should have just hit it first time. I should have just hit it first time. Crap, that would have been a really good. It would have been a hat trick in the first freaking half. That would have been insane. And I need to stop making mistakes like that in the in the in the box in my in my half rather. I need to, I need to, I need to stop doing that. I need to make I need to pick out the best fucking passes every single bloody time. Don't know what the fuck I am doing. Thank you, Helvig. Thank you so much for that. For didn't keep the ball to Fonseca to Haaland. If you can, no, you cannot. The defender was just able to close down, close him down really, really fast. No way, I'm getting there ahead of Radio. No bloody way. All right, so there it is again. I'm making, I'm making stupid ass passes, and I'm making stupid ass decisions over and over and over again. I just, I, I just fucking confused myself. I could have just cleared it, but I did not. I don't know why I was trying to pass out of the box. God, God. All right, now we are level once again. All right, second half, we need to, we actually need to have more sense. I need to have more sense in general. Well, Haaland did really well. Haaland did really well, but I'm just not. I mean, I'm really, I'm really the one at fault right now. Those two goals, I was really the one at fault. Much more of the second goal than the first one. And Haaland could have gotten a first half hat trick there. Oh god, this, this, this entire match was just bad decision after bad decision and I really hope that I do not go ahead and lose this. I really hope that I do not go ahead and lose this. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on Fonseca. Alright, you are through. You are not through. Come on. What the hell are you running straight into the fucking... Defender. I'm literally, I'm literally getting the ball from them every single bloody time. But for some reason, no matter what I do, they always just get the ball back like immediately. How the hell is that happening? Why the hell is that even happening? All right, I think I would use Pedri here. Then Mason Mount maybe for Verts or. Yeah, Ade Yemi for Haaland, he's, he's not going to get his, his hat trick, so I think, I, I think I'm good with that for now. Oof. Okay. Come on guys, we have about 30, 30 minutes to... Alright. Look at me again, look at me again trying to pass off in the back and fucking up over and over again and i keep on doing it it's just i'm just so fucking used to it all right carry my day and me what do you have for me nothing but well, folding you must got something thank you top left corner folding's right foot that is insane and we are back in front that's exactly what i fucking need right now so all i need from the team apart from scoring goals is good defense i need to focus up in the defensive areas like I, I really, I really, really need to do that. So, I mean, I, I wanted Karim Adeyemi to score. I wanted him to score. But, I, like, I mean, I don't really think he was in a very good position. I, I feel like the keeper would have gotten that. Let's see if I can work with a counter attack here. Come on, German. Okay, German, go on, go on, go on, go on. Please. Please, why right, you got this? You got this, man. Thank you. All right, so that is the icing on the cake. I doubt they are going to come back from that. I really doubt they're going to come back from that. All right. All right. What do we got? Oh okay, yeah, I need to make one more, like a couple more substitutions, I guess. I think I'm going to bring in on this guy, and then possibly Mason Mount. All right. I think I think this would be good. This should be good. All right, all right, 
Alright, folding going off for Bino Gittins and mounts coming in for Florian Verts. Let's try and get this ball as best as possible and as fast as possible. Come on. Thank you so much for that. I don't know why the hell that pass happened to be like that, but what the hell. Vardio, thank you so much. Bino Gittins, what do you have? Two mounts to Kallenberg, back to Mount, and I think I'm stuck here, yeah, and, I, I, and the pass just wasn't good, oh, ooh, that's actually a really good interception, no, okay, that still works, that still works, that still works, that's, that, that was insane, that was insane gameplay right there, that was insane teamwork right there. That makes me so fucking proud. And as usual, we always demolish Atletico Madrid every bloody time. Every fucking bloody time. Good. I mean, it's really good that that German supported Fonteca. I really thought that the, I really thought that pass was going to be intercepted, but it wasn't. And we get the the undisputed victory in this match. I mean, there's no way. I mean, it has been a really good second half. We've held them really well in the defense. We haven't made that many defensive mistakes. Come on. We haven't made that many defensive mistakes. And I feel like... One more goal might still be possible here. Alright, let's see. I think this should be yours. Pino or Rise. Alright. Alright, 6 2. <laughs> Man, all right, we are we are we are fucking these guys up so bad. We're fucking these guys up so bad, so so bad. And I and it, it's like they just gave up in the second half. It's like they just fucking gave up in the second half. All right, that's a really good win for us. Really, really good win for us. And we have one more big match to play, which is against Barcelona. And yeah, Holland did really well in this match. And then Fonseca, German, and Rise got the remainder of the goals. That I'm really happy. I'm really happy at the perform at the performance this time around. This goal from Haaland still gets me. This goal from Haaland still gets me. Man, what a volley! What a volley! The keeper made a really bad mistake. A really, really fucking bad mistake. And well, he got punished by Haaland. I mean, I really wish Haaland did get his hat trick there, but you know, you can't really get those all the time. Can't really get those all the time, yeah. So, um, the Ballon d'Or should be happening any time from now. I just, don't, I just don't know when. So, I'm going to have to be vigilant for that. I think I, think I might see it here. The, the denominations. Hopefully, I do see it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it at all. So, um, this match against um, this team. I think I think I will use this this team for this match, and let's hope that we do win it, please. Yeah, and we remain undefeated in the in this season. That's that is still insane. No matter how 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 much I try to think about it, they are not giving me the the bloody player of the year thing, the Ballon d'Or. I have no idea when I'm even supposed to. L look for that. Oh yeah, who will be 2028 player of the year? All right, so okay, Fonteca is not even here. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. After the season, I mean, I mean, the season he had last week, last season wasn't really, wasn't really all that, I guess. But come on, I could have. I mean, I mean, he got 30 something goals, 39 goals, no. Come on, I mean. He's, he deserves to be there. Alright, so next match will be against Barcelona. But that, that, that's even the, the, the next match that we have to play right now. Let's give him their home kit. Ooh, who, who is that? Who is that player? I like his hair. I mean, it looks like a generic player. It doesn't really look like a real player. I don't think it's a real player. Uh, I'm, I'm really interested to, to see who that is. Probably gonna just do that off camera and shit. So, um, team management. 
I'm going to be folding. He did really well last last match. Um, should I give Kofi a chance? I think I think I'm going to give him a chance. But you know, Barcelona is a, this is going to be a really tough match. So I, I probably shouldn't do that. If I'm going to bring anyone in, it's going to be Kallenberg for Florian Wirtz, and then that will be all I'm going to do in this entire match. And uh, playable highlights. This is going to be the last match we're going to be playing for this match. So once again, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button, also subscribe to the channel, and you know, let's get into the shit. Okay, we are the Camp de Cohetes against the almighty Barcelona. They're the ones that won the league by a long shot last season, and they are they're currently on our tail, even though we are long gone from them. We're, I, I think we are over 10 points ahead of them if i'm not wrong and let's just prove to them let's just prove to the entire world that we are indeed on top of this fucking league and we are but like just want to beat every single fucking team that we can beat all right all right that, that final pass probably wasn't it and we i don't think we have oh yeah we've drawn only one match in in the, se in the entire season, that is the one against Villarreal, if I'm not wrong. Um, we, we are already in the fucking second half, man, and we, we need a goal so bad. We need a goal so bad right now. Please get this out to Verts. Hold the ball, thank you. Alright, oh my days. We told me we have at least one defender at the back. Alright, Helvig told me you got this. Right, that is that is insane defending. That is insane fucking defending. That is mad. I fucking love that. All right, so passing now will probably not do a lot of good. So let's just hold the ball up. Ah, uh, crap! That was probably not the best of options right there to give it back to Haaland. All right, so this is the last last chance. Not a lot to do. Really, give this to James Pedri to Foden. Let's try and get this to Fonseca. And what the hell just happened there? I have no idea what happened there, but we still have. Oh, yeah, we don't have the ball anymore. So, I mean, it ends up, it ends up with a draw. I mean, I would, I, I would take that. I really wish that I did score in this match, but that really doesn't um, hold the fact that we have almost gone through this season undefeated uh i don't think i mean we had one just one good scenario like all you know oh, the first one was really good I, I i fucked that up oh crap all right um we have two matches left to play and it's against osasuna and levante so i mean this this one shouldn't really be a problem so i'm just going to seem to the 31st and I hope that we really do win those matches. All right, here we go. First match is going to be away against Osasuna, and I'm hoping that we do win this one. We do two one, and then the last one we are home, so I mean there shouldn't really be a problem there. And it's against Levante. I really don't know where they are on the uh, league table and all. So I'm pretty sure we should still win this match. We do not actually. We actually we actually draw the match. So I mean a draw is still different from a loss. So we are, we are we have finished this episode on beating and that is one hell of an achievement right there that's one hell of a fucking achievement right there and let's look at the standings how far are we away from everybody else okay so and we probably could have done we probably could have ended this thing 10 points clear from real madrid but we drew the Barcelona match and we drew the the um the, what match we just play levante the levante match and well we are just eight points I mean, it's not bad it's not bad i mean at the form that we are on right now we probably are not going to be dropping from this first place at all in the entirety of the season and my main problem from now is the copa del rey i want to win that and the champions league as well that will make for a really good treble the super copa we have won that time and time again so i really don't care about that trophy that much but i really wish that they would actually show us how many times we have won that trophy but uh i guess i'm going to have to go back in time to like look at how many times we indeed won that trophy so um yeah this is the end of the episode let's look i want to look at this thing real quick the top player top scorers we have fonseca with 15 goals no one else from our team is here and we have Haaland with eight he hasn't really gotten as many as fonseca and then 
German with seven or of course it's going to be Haaland sorry Fonseca Haaland then German so the squad in itself how many goals have they all scored all right um Fonseca with 24 goals he's absolutely fucking flying this time around then Haaland with nine in general and uh, German with seven so it's only in the La Liga that he has scored goals Bino Gittins has four that's interesting and then Florian Witz and Pedri have um Three goals each. Where the fuck is Foden? Foden only has one goal, one, and that's probably just that one that we scored there. So, anyway, this is the end. It's the end. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let me know what you think about the video. Is there anything you want me to change about this series for the next episode? And um, I'm really sorry once again that I'm taking too much time to upload this series, and you know, shit is just going down in my life right now, and I'm just trying to do this as, 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 um, frequent as possible so i mean once again my apologies for that and uh, i'll see you guys in the next episode peace